Hey all, so question number three comes from Jason Schmidtle. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, Jason asked, what do we do about controlling spazzy and or explosive people in pin and control positions? Good question. Um, this one may require some, some demo time too, but, uh, just, uh, speaking, having verbiage as my only tool at the moment, <laughs> yeah. um, first let me say that I think there's a difference between spazzy and explosive. Um, I've rarely seen spazzy and explosive, <laughs> um, uh, being that ex someone who's explosive is probably someone who's athletic and their movements are very calculated um, and probably trained responses. They just do it at a high technical level and a high athletic level. Um, if when you're talking about someone who's spazzy, it's probably that they're um, they're newer. They probably don't know that they're using so much energy, and they're they're being kind of explosive, but it's kind of wrong <laughs> so um just to start with that say there's a difference between spazzy and explosive um at least in my terminology i'm going to say explosive is probably trained and calculated spazzy is a lot of energy going the wrong place or at the wrong time <laughs> so now do you deal with these differently let me think while I'm talking. I I don't think so. My first impression is we're going to do the same things to, for each, but um, no. So um, let me hit. Let me start by hitting on this again. Um, box theory, right? Corner, 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 right? The two, the both hips and both shoulders. These are what I call parts of the box. Being able to control these. Right, if I control all four points, I've pinned my opponent down. Now, I usually can't do a lot because I'm using all my limbs and my points of contact to control all four corners, right? Which means when if I'm holding them down, if I have a good cross face with my underarm and side control, and I have you know my hand on their hip or my elbow on their far hip and my knee on their close hip, and I'm controlling their their you know all four points, right? I'm I'm tied up too, right? So I think that really understanding that basic point uh, from top control positions and pins, whether it's mount, whether it's side control. Um, your varieties of side control, your scarf holds, uh, things of that nature, um, that that's where this kind of starts, right? So regardless of explosive or spazzy, um, controlling all four corners is your starting point. Now, again, you don't get to move. Now, is your point trying to hold them down or is the point trying to, you know, hold them down and then make an opening, right? So... I think uh, that's the best place to start with it. Now, dealing with spazzy people, if you create an opening from those four corners, they're probably going to do something wrong, right? They're going to do something a little more, uh, less, less than calculated. They may think they're calculating, but again, they don't have the experience. That's why we're calling them spazzy instead of explosive. Um, again, they may have a lot of athleticism underneath of them, but it's not, the, their moves aren't um, the right responses, right? So with that, I would say um, you're going to open up points of release uh, as bait, and then you're going to advance your position, right? With explosive people, that's what they're waiting on. They're waiting for you to create an opening um, so that they can take advantage of the escapes that they have programmed in um, from these positions. Right? If you're high up, if you're down low, you know they know which what they need to do because they have the experience and the training. Um, so I think from that point, it becomes about opening more than one gate, right? Opening more than one corner in order to give them a conundrum, right? 
If they go this way, this happens. If they go this way, this happens. You're complicating the situation for them, right? You open up one thing, generally they're going to move one or two ways, and you're going to follow one of those chains, right? And if you know what you're doing, you're going to be able to work ahead. If you open up two of those corners, then they usually have one or two movements, maybe three at each of these points. Maybe they you know, are escaping from this point. Maybe they're escaping from this point. Then you've got chains out of that. So you're complicating it both for them and for yourself. The difference is you're the one that's setting it up if you're on top. So I, uh, I think that's what do you do about spazzy and explosive people? And how to keep them from, you know, it's, it's, it's the points of contact, right? It's control in the four corners of the box. It's about net control, right? Spine alignment, those kind of things. Having good cross faces and, and things like that. And then taking advantage of it, right? And opening up certain spots for them to escape, quote unquote, into. Which is, you should already be there ahead of them, right? So... I hope that answers your question, man. Uh, it's, it's a good question. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll probably talk one about this one a little bit more. So thanks, y'all. Um, if you want any more questions answered, hit me. I'm, I'm happy to give me give some answers out. So, all right. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Got some cool stuff coming.